Good morning, modern steaders. It's supposed to start raining any minute now this morning. It's supposed to get some pretty good thunderstorms, I guess, too. I'm trying to get the chores done a few minutes earlier this morning before the rain comes in. Good morning, guys. Did you sleep good? Good morning, boys. You're not sleeping on the bunk beds? You're not used to bunk beds yet, are you? If you're new to our channel or haven't watched for a little while, these are our new bucks. We got two of them. We got them from our friends Luann and Gary out in Missouri. They are some beautiful bucks. And these are going to be our the breeding bucks for our herd. They're, they're two Nigerian dwarf bucklings that were born this year. And they come from some great milking lines. I am excited to have added them to our herd. set the milking room up better but I'm spoiled to be able to have a place to keep the grain in the alfalfa pellets right now. If you have any ideas of how to set up the milking room for our grain storage leave it in the comments down below or if you have any like Pinterest ideas send them to us on our email. Good morning girls. You enjoying the bunk beds? There you go. Yeah, get up. There you go. It's taken the goats a few days, but they're starting to get settled in nicely to the new barn. We all get stuck in routines and changing them up, whether it's for the good or the bad. It doesn't feel right. I know it's the same way for me. I can get very routined and Seeing it with the goats and switching them into the new barn and the new stalls, new feeder. Uh, it's funny. It's like, yep, we can all get like that sometimes. We're so used to doing something one way that we resist change. You can feel the rain's coming. I can just feel it in the air. The air is so thick right now. Pretty dark and dreary up this morning too right now. Another two cups of delicious goat's milk. Okay. I'll get you in a second. You stay in there. It would be nice to have one of the traps this morning. Whatever got CWC. Morning, guys. You're looking pretty large and in charge. This trap is still open. The bait's still in there, so. Whatever it is, hasn't come back to that trap yet. I'm waiting for this rooster right here to start crowing. I haven't heard him yet, but he's looking pretty fancy. Nope. Oh, this trap is also hasn't been touched. nice that the predator hasn't been back, but it'd be nice to catch it also. I'm glad on one hand the predator hasn't been back, but I'd also like to catch it. I'll have to leave the traps out and see what happens. Just got done eating breakfast, checked the weather, and it says we're supposed to have about an hour to an hour and a half before the thunderstorms come in. I think we should take the stage in out back and clean up the roof line on the back side and then we can get the staging out of here. I just hope we have enough time before the weather moves in. We need to take out this fence. And then I want to put a gate here for the poultry netting. It'd be a lot more convenient to have a gate right here. 
So we need to get the roof finished up. Width wise, I know we have it. I just don't know if we can get it past the tree height wise. branches need to get trimmed anyways they're dead so works out perfect this one back or not there we go I think that'll do it now we should be able to get through we're just missing so close. There we go. I always say where there's a will, there's a way. Sometimes your will is just gotta be a little bit stronger. Gonna need some screws and our tin snips and some gloves would be good. There we go. Let's get some screws in the edge of the tin. I've been spoiled not having to work on the roof lately. don't hate heights, but I don't love them either. All right, so down there is done. You're just gonna finish up this side and then Fix the eave overhang flashing. Oh. I have to remember to get that screw. It's always the finishing ones that want to fight you. Holy moly. that's done we'll get over there and we'll get that flashing trimmed up right. we're working on it goats we're working on it
on the roof. Let's see if that'll help lock it in place. Take apart the stage and fall oh, over here. We don't need all of this. Sorry, look at all these boards down. Step there. Uh, clouds are getting pretty dark. So this right here is a poultry netting gate from Premier One. This thing comes in super handy. So you don't gotta always walk over the fence or step over it. If you don't wanna turn it off all the time. Super convenient. Goes like so up against the building. And then this end, all right. I gotta remember how it works. It takes me a second. So we got that there. This is going here. <clears throat> like so. Okay. Put a screw there to hold that. We have two additional stakes. Bada boom, bada bing. Then we have our gate and it latches on this post. So if 
we put a screw like that, that'll work. Take our other fence, go right up to it. I'll get a zip tie and I'll put a zip tie on these two. All right, we'll untie this hay string right here. We're gonna have to make their run a little bit bigger now, which the goats won't mind one bit. And we can take this, move this one down. Works perfectly. Kind of surprised it worked out so well. All right, so let's get the fence on. We can let the goats back out. Your goats ready to come out? Nope, they're like, we're napping. We're comfy. You like the new barn? You're not worried about coming out? What are you doing, hope a dope? Don't want the girls getting the apples. They get too many apples and they get the poops. Right, Blossom? Yeah. You want one? They get the poops and they put on lots of weight from the apples. We learned that last year. In my ideal world, I would have loved to have my permanent fencing already up, but I'm glad it's only temporary so this way we can figure out the issues that we're having. And now we know how to set up the new permanent fence so it works really well for us. Since you didn't like the bitterness of this lettuce, I just let it get go by and almost give, it, give that all to the pig. They'll love it. Bed is empty. We can't do a fall garden, right? It's too late for us in the season to do and a fall garden. Really, our season just barely started growing. Yeah, we don't. To, for us to do a fall garden, we'd have to have a whole nother garden and stop planting in July. So I just have a bed full of weed right now. That's a nice cucumber. Yeah, because it's just gonna get fat if they don't. So weird how some of them they don't grow long, they just get fat. Look at that one. How do you just pull that off? It hurt. Then there was another one right here. Did you see my buttercup? I'm so excited about it. I've seen I a couple of big buttercup. buttercups. See the That's summer squash? That one plant has that like one. four. There's a little tiny one down there. Oh yeah, look at that buttercup. You don't mind having it every single time? I see a big zucchini too. You do? Yep. It's perfect size. Spiderwebs, spiderwebs everywhere, you can't even see. Looks like we're gonna have some good fresh veggies with steak tonight. I'm gonna roast them. Ooh, I love roasted veggies. Getting ready for your pigs? Yeah. They saw you coming, the pigs. They got up from their nap. They were playing in the mud from the rain. They always walk right into the feed when you throw it. Yeah. 
What are you two boys doing, huh? What are you doing? So now we can get to the goats this way. You guys hungry? They ate all their hay in their big feeder. You ate all your hay? Good thing I got more, huh? Glad to see you like the feeder. Your dog is ready? Sit. How many eggs do you think? I don't know. Seventeen. We gotta break you ladies of your brood, I guess.
roasted veggies from the garden. Today's job was buttoning up the back side of the roof. I'm glad it's done, but it's one of those jobs it's like you don't look forward to it, you don't feel like doing so you put it off as long as you can. I was like, you know what, I need to put a gate out back, so I might as well finish up buttoning up the roof and I gotta take the fence down anyway, so I'm glad it's done. We can get the staging down and out of our way. We're gonna keep it here just in case we needed to build the woodshed. And then after that, we'll return it to the person that let us borrow it. So I wanted to invite you guys to come join us. We're gonna be joining Justin Rhodes' DIY Abundance membership website. We're gonna be posting one how-to video a month or talking video a month over on that website. We're gonna be active on the Facebook forum group that he has. I'm gonna leave a link in the description down below. It is an affiliate link, so if you guys join his membership website, we do get a commission for that. So I wanted to thank you all who have already joined. I've been totally amazed by the response and how many people have signed up and are looking forward to our monthly videos over there and interacting on the Facebook group. So I wanna thank you all from the bottom of our heart. Thank you for supporting us in Lumna Acres and the Rhodeses and all of our other friends over at the DIY Abundance website. So thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. Tomorrow, it's going to be a fun one. I might put out an extra video tomorrow being Wednesday. So we'll see you right back here then at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.